This week we're talking about the history of my Oliver 550 loader tractor. This is a tractor I have known about and wanted since I knew what tractors were, uh, which would have been about 2006, 2007-ish. Here I am, three years old, at a 4th of July parade, all excited about the tractors. Now back to the Oliver. Uh, it's 68 Oliver 550, and it was owned before me by my brother and I called him Grandpa Jim. He was a very close family friend. Unfortunately, Grandpa Jim passed away, but because this is the tractor I had wanted since I was tiny, uh, I was fortunate enough to be left the tractor in his will, which was very, very cool. This first picture and the previous picture were from me getting it home. I just ended up on the trailer because my dad got sick of following me because I couldn't figure out where road gear was. I did eventually, though. This was me pressure washing it because it had been on the farm for decades, so it was filthy. Here we are going through and moving some cars that were back at Grandpa Jim's property because they were back in the weeds and there was going to be an auction, so it was time for the stuff to find new homes, so we had to drag it out with the Oliver. It ended up putting this Ford Maverick up on barrels and then drug the rest of these cars out from behind the barn. Chevy had no front suspension, so it got picked up with the Oliver. This license plate here is off of one of his semi-trailers. I just felt fitting to put it on there. Here's the Oliver getting some work in the shop with a 70 GTO and a 70 Corvette. I do have a finish mower with the tractor, but uh, the PTO doesn't work, and we can see why here. The uh, PTO clutch pressure plate itself was just shattered. I've never seen one in so many pieces before. I was able to get a new one. I haven't installed it yet, though. I have to split the tractor to get that done and just haven't had the time yet. It'll happen at some point. Otherwise, for the most part, it's just been around doing work, picking up trees that fall down and helping with the yard work here and there. That's me driving at home after a car and tractor show where I had my Comanche and my brother had his J10 as well. Now, I was invited to show the tractor in the county fair. Every year they have an antique tractor exhibit. And the grill in this tractor was busted and reproduction ones are really, really expensive. So it was time to fix the stock grill as best as I could. And I had about three days in getting this grill presentable. It still has a lot of body work that I need to do, but we were able to get it a little bit better. I also hit it with a 50-50 mix of boiled linseed oil and uh, acetone right on the paint. That way it would just bring some shine back. This picture here shows how shiny that came back with just that concoction mixed on it and here we've got the grill installed. I got the grill installed at 9 p.m. and the tractor had to be to the fairgrounds 9 a.m. the following day. So because I wanted to, I drove it there. It was about a 45 minute drive to get it there. It was plenty long. We built a stand and put my childhood Oliver pedal tractor on the front because why not? After that, it's pretty much just been used around the yard. Used it to trim some branches, pulled a dead baby tree out of the ground. Uh, just been a pretty good old workhorse. I've taught some people how to drive tractor on it, uh, which is always a fun experience. And the tractor's never going to go anywhere. It needs a left rear tire. I need to get the PTO clutch fixed, which... Maybe we'll see on a future video. I also plan on taking the trip bucket. So the trip bucket, meaning there's a lever on the right loader arm that dumps the bucket instead of having hydraulics. I want to look at a way, either with a linear actuator 
or a winch to be able to dump the bucket in a with a little bit safer method. We'll see. And otherwise, it's just going to be used as intended. Maybe someday I'll paint the tractor, but I like it right now because it's how I remember it as I was growing up.